Welcome back to What's Up Stratford. I'm here with Harj from City Hall. Harj, thank you very much for joining me. Thank you. So you grew up in Stratford. Um, tell us a bit about your growing up here and then your your IT background. Sure. Uh, you know, my family came to Canada when I was well, two years old and I've never left Stratford. Uh, kind of always worked here and over the years, you know, a city that uh, I, we come to love, right? And and now, and, you know, now I don't want to leave Stratford. Uh, yeah, no, when we came to uh, Stratford, you know, we were, uh, we moved here, you know, my, you know, my, my family worked at a kind of a local manufacturing facility. And as going through, you know, uh, high school and everything, but I always ended up in uh, Stratford. And after, after after my post secondary education, I thought, you know what, I'm going to have to leave Stratford, and it was kind of a little sad, but you know, I was very fortunate that uh, I landed positions here, and then my career, and I built my career here in Stratford, and always uh, and always been here, so which is fantastic. So now that you are on city council, we could just why why did you want to run for city council last year? Uh, you know, the city has for given my family and myself so many opportunities. Uh, and I was finding a way, we, we do a lot of stuff for charities and stuff, but I was trying to find a way how, you know, I can give back to the community. And that was kind of my primary uh, focus. And I thought, you know what, what better way of, you know, helping and serving. And that was my main cause of moving back or going towards uh, city council. That's awesome. Now, you're not only city councilor, you're also now a deputy mayor. So what does that really mean in terms of um, activities for you? Uh, you know, it's, uh, I mean, for me, I, it, it's a great opportunity. Uh, you know, it uh, allows me to use some of the skills that I have gained, you know, within my senior management roles and owning a business. Uh, so for me, I'm, you know, again, uh, I work closely with the mayor when he requires, you know, me to kind of move or need some assistance or whatever. And I'm just there to help. Now, if you have to do any official duties, do you get to wear that big, heavy thing that he wears, <laughs> the traditional thing? I, I, I haven't had that opportunity yet. <laughs> yeah, well, but you know what? I, uh, yeah, no, I haven't had uh, that chance yet, but maybe one day. <laughs> Okay, so City Council 101, um, you're, you're elected, uh, you're new to council, that you have no really uh, municipal background. How do you learn? What's the process you're going through in the new councillors as well and getting up on top of the wave to understand all the nuances? Yeah, you know, uh, it, was a, it was a lot of information in the beginning. And, uh, and look for myself, it was a little bit of a steep learning curve of getting to understand, but I must say uh, the team at City Hall are amazing. You know, they were able to help me through, you know, and kind of give the, all the counselors guidance and how to kind of get, understand the different processes and uh, all the, the way, you know, actually how council in general works. Uh, you know, yeah, that team there is just amazing. Uh, for my end, it was a lot of learning, but, and, and it still is, and it still is. Um, but however, now I, you kind of get a little better understanding. You kind of getting a better handle on things uh, moving forward. So, you, look, you know, you've got that more confidence in, you know, making uh, those decisions and discussing those important matters. So um, if there's any exciting thing going on at City Hall now as your, what, what are some cool stuff coming down the pipe now that we're in April? <laughs> well, uh, I mean, there's always some exciting stuff, but uh you know, uh, now with the, you know, spring coming on, there's a number of, uh, you know, there's going to be, I think there's going to be a lot of coming for the summer, you know, with the festival uh, and all those aspects, there's going to be, you know, a lot of uh, different activities happening. Uh, it's in uh, a lot of other matters that are happening that, you know, the community, you know, obviously going to get involved and uh, uh, they'll be a part of, uh, be part of those uh, issues or opportunities, as I call them. Great. And then just tell us very quickly about Britannia Street, the, the housing. Uh, yes, you know, uh, uh, everybody's been working really hard. Uh, you know, these, the information has been put out there. 
uh, you know, for that uh, to meet the deadline. And as per now, everything looks, uh, you know, really good. So, you know, it'd be great to see that as a success. Yeah, that's awesome. Arch, thank you very much for uh, representing City Council so well. I really appreciate you stepping in. And I love your servant leadership philosophy. That's the same way that I believe that leaders should be. So that's awesome. Thank you, Harge. Thank you. Thank you very much, Peter. Coming up next is Carrie, and we're going to talk about the really neat PSW program going on with the Avon Maitland District School Board.